Good morning, folks. We're going to earn that like button today with two big hits. Step one in a necessary engagement and step 100 in debunking climate science. We're starting with our star at spaceweathernews.com and we find the last day continuing the bright magnetic field activity and overall awakening of the sun. While solar flares are still low, they are climbing. We are entering the big climb of the sunspot cycle where increases in activity will be more regular. We're in the thick of the rise to sunspot maximum now. We are also getting into the thick of some solar wind this morning. Coronal hole stream driving purple plasma speed up to above average range and minor instability is coming to the magnetic field. Eyes open for further intensifications. The earthquake watch both continues and started producing with the six pointer in Chile yesterday. That followed multiple blot echoes. We're heading next to India where they've got about a day to evacuate this region because the storm is stalling, strengthening, and going to obliterate this region with cyclone power for more than 24 hours when it hits. This is set to be the natural disaster of the year in the eastern world. Good luck. And a good day to Dr. Robitaille. If you didn't see before, Dr. No Little, Professor Dave tried to debunk him. It was like a child challenging a giant. In Dr. Robitaille's highly recommended 40-minute response today, Professor Dave's era on the internet should really come to a close. One of the key portions is an email from one of the men upon whose shoulders a fair deal of the field was built, putting the theory in the proper respect. Folks, this needed to happen. Not only Dr. Robitaille standing up against an internet troll with a half-credential in science, but the pushback against Prospector Dave. I have a little something planned for him soon as well. So folks, in 2010 to 2019, that was pretty much the decade of recognizing solar climate forcing. But 2020 is going to go down as the year they realize just how bad their models are. In the atmosphere, we started the year seeing how much CO2 bias and cloud uncertainty led to error propagation in the models, including the importance of ozone loss over atmospheric chemistry. In the oceans, we saw continued observation and theory on the heat transport shutdown, overturning circulation changes, and overall cooling trends to come with the changes we see. And the Beaufort Gyre still hasn't unleashed the cold climate bomb. Rapid fire jabs coming here, starting with the greater importance of aerosols over greenhouse gases. It's one of the first things everyone needs to understand about pollution. It is critical that proper attribution be given to natural forcing from volcanoes as well. They do a tremendous job cooling the planet, with second place being anthropogenic activity, aka human pollution, cooling. No matter where they look, the beast has beat them to the punch. Aha, there we go, reduced Arctic sea ice because we reduced a kind of pollution and it got warmer. Hmm. Okay, this has to be it, right? The little global warming Greta said to herself. CO2, let's see what you do. Yep, sorry. You won't see this on CNN, but this is literally all of 2020 continuing right here. Are you reading that? Those were the whack -a models, and we stick with them here so we can begin by learning that it's nearly impossible to get the solar cycle signal off the data. It's the biggest factor by far. In second place is CO2. Again, that would be the cooling aspect of CO2. And what's this? Be still, my beating heart. In third place is the ongoing magnetic excursion, the pole shift, the weakening shield. Somehow, we started here, turned most people's perception of pollution and climate upside down, and wound up here. On the climate side, today's haul represents only 0.8% of 2020's bounty in that field. I checked. On the other side, we've got bigger problems. We greatly appreciate your support. Watch Dr. Robitaille's video, We're Not Done With Proctology Dave. Get our books at otf.cells.com. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close. And of course, we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 5.15 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.